So let's take a file and I'm going to be using this file here which is a little ring that I've created just for one of the moons that I've made. Nothing too drastic and it won't take too long to slice. So pop it into your Creality Print. Choose the settings that you want to choose. There's a little icon down here that will allow you to change them and fiddle with them and mess with them. And when you're happy with the design you've got, just slice it up. When you've done it and it's all ready and it's all sliced, just export to local. I'm going to call it Moon center just so i know what it is and i'm going to save it so what i'm going to do here now is bring it into my printer and i'll show you how to do that now you're going to need the ip address make sure you're connected to the same wi-fi and follow these instructions so first let's make sure your k1 or your k1 max is set up so go to device go to add manually and there then you will see the option to wi-fi so click on that and then insert your four digit IP number here. Now obviously I've blacked mine out, but you will set four different numbers in there. And once you have done that, I want you to go down and click the add button. And voila, the printer has been successfully added as you can clearly see here click OK and there now is your printer so now when you're in the main project sort of page of it there the preview page if you click on device there are all your settings now choose import here and then choose the file that you've just sliced and saved and we've called it uh, moon centers didn't we so we're going to import that in now and there it is sitting down there so right mouse click on that and you can choose two options here either start printing or print with calibration if you want to level everything I'm going to do it with print and calibration and then straight away in the man cave some distance away magic jiggery pokery witchcraft has gone on and the printer has begun to print the moons and that is as simple as it is and you can transfer files across to the printer remotely this way it's absolutely Absolutely easy peasy to do so. Simple steps, hope you found that relatively easy.